Hey guys and welcome to a new video on this channel. I am Sabi from Code Revolution. So today I will show you a new method on how you can create an auto block. So it will use a new and interesting way that you can embed other posts into your site and visitors will think that the content is uh, from your site but in reality they will view the uh, original content. Like this you will not be uh, liable for uh, issues about duplicate content or about copyright issues because you embed the exact same site and you display content from it on your site like you embed a YouTube video and the process is similar. If you embed a YouTube video on your site, copyright issues will not be a problem for you. So let me show you how to do this. So this new plugin will allow you to use this method with any other auto blogging plugins I created so far. So Newsomatic, Echo RSS and all other plugins that I created will support this new plugin. And let me go ahead and show you the plugins. So Newsomatic, Echo, YouTube-O-Matic, all will support this new feature. Okay, so now let me go ahead and install the new plugin. Click Plugins, Add New, Upload Plugin, Choose File, Navigate to the zip file you downloaded. Please don't forget that you'd have to extract the zip file you download and you will find also the installable zip file inside of it. Extract that and install it. Activate the plugin. And now we can go to Plugin Settings which will appear here in Autoblog iframe extension. So here we will have some basic settings we need to configure and afterwards the, our blog will benefit from the, this new idea. But first, I already installed the Echo RSS importer and let me show you how uh, the basics of this plugin works. So let us leave this behind for a bit and let me conf configure the Echo RSS feed plugin to import some basic posts. So let us import from this Greek blog, let's say two posts. So save settings and let us run importing. If we check our blog now, it is empty and the Echo RSS plugin is working on importing new content right now. So it should bring new content as we refresh posts will appear. So as you can see, if we refresh content, new posts will appear. So these posts right now are on my website. So if we click on one of this, the content is displayed, title, and my team is set right now to not display the featured image in single post view. So this is why it is not showing and also the second post is imported and importing finished. So like this, the role of the Echo RSS auto, auto blogging plugin right now is finished. It imported these two posts and now let us go ahead and configure the auto blog iframe extension, which will work with the Echo plugin to show the source of the pages in an iframe. So for this, we will need this shortcode, AIEX display iframe. So we can copy this shortcode and create a page, for example, where we will use the uh, shortcode to display each uh, post separately. So let us give, uh, let me give the page a title, interesting articles. Or you can also leave this blank if you wish. I leave this to your uh, uh, configuration and simply paste the shortcode here. Also, the plugin supports also a, Gotham, a Gutenberg block, but I will show you the shortcode first and the Gutenberg block afterwards. So let me go and show you the shortcode. Uh, I recommend that you set the template to full width so the iframe will have more space in your page. So don't forget to set the template of the page to full width and publish the post. 
and now we can go to post URL and simply copy the URL that you see here. So copy this and go to the Autoblog iframe extension plugin menu and paste the URL of the paste of the uh, page where you added the shortcode. So this is the full URL of the page where we have added the shortcode. Now all we have to do is save settings and once we add these settings in the Autoblog iframe extension plugin and we have it here activated, then we can go back here on the page and it will allow us to view posts in an iframe. So if we go to the main uh, page, uh, main uh, page of our blog, we will see that if we click on the title of an imported post, uh, the post will not be uh, open, but instead the iframe will open. So let me click on it. And here it is. So this is my uh, page here. So the page which I created, the interesting articles page, which I just created. And this is the short code which is displaying directly the content of the original page. So search engines are cool with iframes. They are not penalizing content that you embed on your, uh, on your blog. Also, search engines are not recognizing it as duplicate content. They are simply tagging, tagging it as you link the, to the source of the uh, page of the site so source of this article and you link to it directly they are recognizing it as linking back to the original source and like you would have a youtube video there just the same so they will not penalize this so this is a new way to display content on your site and also this other article let me click on it and once again the interesting articles page is opened and now we have the other article here in the source website so visitors will be able to uh, view these pages directly on your site however they will get the exact same content from the source website also as you will see that this content is uh, responsive so if you resize the content and move it around you will see that it is responsive and things will change together with the size of the browser okay so also people will be able to interact with things here and yeah okay so I hope I <coughs> was able to um, how I was able to tell you how this plugin works and also let me show you what settings you will have in the plugin settings so keep in mind this is the most important thing if you set the URL of the page where you set the shortcode the plugin will start functioning also you can set the iframe height so if you want it taller or smaller you can set it here so let us set it to uh, let's say 2500 pixels and if we go to the page we will see that the embed is larger now and also here you can set in the uh, shortcode parameters. So if you update the shortcode parameters and refresh it, it is it is larger now. So the embed is larger now. Okay, and you can make it also small or resize it as you wish. Okay, and I told you at the beginning that I will show you also the Gutenberg block alternative. So if you cl click here blocks and uh, embeds, 
you will see the auto block iframe embed and here you will be able to set the settings of the plugin the same simply update and you will get the same result simply go to the page and you will have it here you will have the same content here to deactivate the plugin simply sweep, uh, flip the switch save settings and if we go to our main blog now main blog articles then if we click on an article the post will open so if we click now the local posts will open so you can simply deactivate and the plugin will stop working <coughs> sorry okay so this is all for this video for now let me know in the comment section what do you think about this new uh, plugin and this new extension for other plugins but because basically this is an extension for the other plugins I created this adds functionality to them and yeah until next time don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more similar videos ideas and stuff and have a great day bye bye